Have you ever thought about spending the night in a school? Well, in Tadami, you can. Join me today as I spend the night in a cozy Japanese elementary school completely surrounded by nature. Mira-san, konnichiwa, sukushi toke, yokuso. You may be thinking, this is a strange place for me to be starting this video. And that's because we are in Shinrin no Bunko Fuzawa. And this is a old elementary school that has now been converted into accommodation. So you can come and stay here whenever you are in the Tadami area. And it's really interesting. I can't wait to show you around and explore. And if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. So as soon as you come in, you can see the stage area here, which I guess is where they used to have school productions. So that's how you immediately know you were in an old school. And right next to it, they have like a little snack shop as well. And I just think it's so cute. So right here, you can see some books and also a games console. So if you ever get bored during your stay here, you have some entertainment. So just through these curtains and up the stairs are the classrooms, aka our bedrooms. So let's go and have a look at those. This wooden staircase really took me back to my own school days back in England. So if it wasn't already feeling like a school yet, it definitely will after you see these. So we have a row of sinks here and this is where you would go to brush your teeth or freshen up. And I love this. I think it's so adorable and totally unique to a school and not a hotel. <laughs> right here is an area you can, I guess, hang out in and relax, which I really, really love. So you can see that there are some chairs, some tables, a hammock, some books. And I love the design of this, it looks so cozy. So all of the rooms are old classrooms and I was delighted to learn that we will be staying in the library, which was my favorite room when I was at school. So let's go in and I can show you where we will be sleeping this evening. So this is our room and as you can see, it's massive. It's really big and there are even two sofas and a yogi bow <laughs> to hang out on. And so obviously we're sleeping on the tatami flooring, which I absolutely adore. And there's tons of pillows and blanket options as well. I particularly love that the chalkboard is still here. I think that's such a nice touch. And I love this. I think this is a great experience. It's totally unique. And I can't wait to spend my evening here and show you some of the things that we will be getting up to. So we are having shabu shabu for dinner and I really love this room. It's laid out exactly like a school eating area or a school canteen with the tables in rows. And it's really cozy and nice. There's also a television in the corner as well so you can watch TV while you eat. And it's just very cozy. And I can't wait to dig in to dinner. The shabu shabu broth was mushroom based and had a lovely rich flavor. Mutton is a very popular meat in Tadami, so I was happy I got to eat it here. There is so much meat in here, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> Itadekimasu. Mm. It's very rich and I quite like it because it means I didn't really have to add anything to the flavor, like I didn't have to put sauce or anything like that on it. It's got that normal rich taste that you expect from mutton. It's delicious. I've never had it in shabu shabu form before and it's really good. So many vegetables. <laughs> I'm so happy. There was a surprisingly large selection of vegetables to add to this delicious meal. Beer is also available, so it's everything you need to feel comforted in the cold weather. Kanpai. <sighs> it feels really weird to be drinking inside of a school. <laughs> I feel like I should not be allowed to do that. <laughs> As usual, beer is the perfect accompaniment to any food. It tastes really good with the lamb. Mushroom. Mm. 
so juicy. I love it. It's amazing how thinly sliced these carrots are. They're almost transparent because they're so thin. Cabbage is basically my favorite vegetable, but only in Japan. So as well as mutton, we also have pork. So we're really spoiled here tonight. I'm gonna add it in. Shabu Shabu is served at this school during the winter months and they have barbecues in the summer. So you can decide when to stay based on what you want to eat. Tripping in Ponzu. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I prefer the mutton or the pork because they've got very different flavours. I think the mutton has a stronger natural flavour than the pork does. They're both good. I can't decide. It's impossible. <laughs> Roman 50 Oashi is a local sake made from rice sourced from Minami Aizu. You can only find this sake in Shoamura in Japan as it's intended for European export. Mm. I need to stop otherwise I'm going to get drunk in a school building no less. <laughs> So we've been eating for nearly an hour and there is still more than half of mutton left. That's a lot of mutton. <laughs> there was 300 grams of mutton. So we finally finished eating and this was the perfect meal to have in the cold weather. I think shabu shabu is ideal when the temperatures are quite low. Anyway, I'm really happy, I'm really full. It was delicious and comforting. I've always wanted a yogi bow. And if you don't know what that is, it's like an amazing bean bag. And they actually have a yogi bow here. So, <laughs> ready? <laughs> it's so comfy. Dinner was delicious and the staff were really friendly. So that's an added bonus. I feel like whenever you stay anywhere, you always want the staff to be friendly and you want to feel like you can ask for their advice and just have a chat with them and you can definitely do that here. But anyway, as you can probably tell, we are back in our bedroom. So there's one last thing to do before we start getting ready for bed, and that is to actually make the bed. So I'm going to do that now. There's a lot of stuff here. So many, many people can stay here. So they have the basics here, and then they have some pillows over there and extra blankets as well. And if you leave the room just outside of this room here, there's even more stuff. So if you're not satisfied with the amount of pillows that you have in here, you can grab some more from out there. And it's the same with blankets as well. So you will not be cold and you will definitely be comfortable if you stay here. I wanna be next to the heater. <laughs> I can't lie, that looks super comfortable. <laughs> now I can't wait to go to bed. And I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to brush my teeth, have a shower, and I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning, it is now the next day. I slept really well last night. It was really comfy and nice and warm in this room. And then I had a shower also, and that was quite an interesting experience. It was very spacious in the shower room. There was also a bath as well, but the water was lovely and hot. So overall, I would say spending the night in an elementary school is a wonderful experience. Anyway, I'm hungry, so we're going to get some breakfast now. Let's go. So this is breakfast and as you can see, it's lovely. You also have the option to get some miso soup and rice as well. But yeah, this looks delicious. It looks very balanced. Bacon and spinach, itadekimasu. Mmm, the bacon is lovely and smoky and the spinach is delicious. Spinach is always delicious. <laughs> So I have a local Fukushima dressing here called Junen and it's actually containing egoma which is very similar to shiso, it's in the shiso family but this is very local to Fukushima so I'm really curious to try it because I actually thought this was sesame dressing but I guess it isn't, it just looks very similar. Let's just try it. Mmm. It's a little bit sour. It's got a bit of bite to it, which I quite like, but it's not as sour as a lot of salad dressings can be. It's like sour, but a bit mild. It's really nice. It's very rich. Mmm. It doesn't taste like shiso though. Like I wouldn't know it was from the same type of 
plant family. It's really unique. I think you definitely have to try this. It's delicious, but there's no way to describe it really because it's not like anything else I've tasted. <laughs> to be honest, one of my favorite things about Japanese breakfast is that you can eat fish and also salad and it's normal. Because in England, if I told anyone I was eating fish for breakfast, they'd just be like, why? <laughs> so I'm glad that I can do it in Japan and it's normal because I love fish. It's so good. A little bit salty, but I love it. <laughs> the skin is actually my favorite part. And I know some people think that's weird, but honestly, the skin is the best part. It's so crispy. There is something truly special about eating a traditional Japanese breakfast in a Japanese school. It was healthy and there was a nice selection of dishes. That was a spectacular breakfast. I loved it so much, it was perfect. And the thing I love about Japanese traditional breakfasts is there's something for everyone. Because there are so many different dishes, there's always one dish that you're guaranteed to enjoy. And yeah, I'm really full now, and I think this is the exact type of breakfast I needed on a cold morning like this. After breakfast, I got the chance to talk to the manager about the fascinating history of the school.いろんな蕎麦打ち体験だったり、名前より体験だったり、森のガイドだったり、いろんな年間 the weather here was absolutely gorgeous, so we decided to take advantage of it by trying out snowshoes. <laughs> these are quite comfortable actually. <laughs> How these snowshoes work is basically they stop your feet from sinking into deep snow, which actually happened to me yesterday and I nearly fell over. It was quite scary. So I wish I'd had these then. But yeah, because these stop your feet from sinking into snow, it means that you can go up into the mountains much easier and see all the animals there, like this one behind me. I will not be doing that today, but it's good to know for the future. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. This has been a truly amazing experience. I never thought I'd be spending the night in an old elementary school. I also never thought I'd be running around in snowshoes. But here I am. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Where is the strangest or most unique place that you stayed overnight in? Let us know. And you see what I wrote on the whiteboard? Take a picture and send it to us. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.